YouTube, what's really good? It's Mayte, welcome to my channel. And today I'd like to introduce you to a new series that I'm going to call Training to Win. Okay, so why Training to Win? Well, you know, I've been a men's physique competitor for the past two and a half years. I think I've done quite well. I've won a couple of regional shows, second at the British finals last year. It's been absolutely crazy. It's been crazy, right? But now I want to take it to the next level. I need to take first place this year. It has to happen. I just have to win, right? And I thought it'd be a good idea to capture that on video and just show everybody what, what it looks like to prep for a men's physique competition. Um, also, part of the reason why I'm recording this is because I'm getting a lot of questions about what my training looks like, what my diet is like, um, you know, how much I sleep, how much I weigh, how, how tall I am. I'm like, why, why is that relevant? But anyway, people ask me lots of questions and I thought it would be best to just capture that on video. I find that a lot of people just don't give themselves enough time. Like people do, you know, competitions, they prep in eight weeks or six weeks or even 12 weeks. I think 12 weeks is really, really short, but that's just my opinion and that's just how I've been training. You know, my preps have lasted for as long as 20, even 24 weeks. So pretty much like six months I'm prepping for a show. But then if you have a look at my Instagram page or, you know, my social media, you know, I'm always posting like pizzas and ice cream and cakes and everyone's thinking, whoa, like why is Mate always posting like cake and he's on prep? That's not even normal. Well, it's normal because it's taking me six months to, to shred down. So yeah, I'm getting shredded, but I'm also enjoying the nicer things in life. And so that's how I like to prep personally. I really, really enjoy that. And you can call it the, you know, if it fits your macros or flexible dieting, you know, call it that. But for me, it's just healthy eating, right? So that I don't go crazy. Because that's the kind of, that's the stuff that I like. I, I don't want to eat broccoli and chicken every day, you know, because I'm aware that a lot of people think that that's what you have to do to get shredded and chances are you can get shredded doing that that's just because you're eating less calories so you're eating less calories you're losing weight okay thumbs up you've done what you needed to do but think about how that affects you psychologically emotionally like are you in a good place are you enjoying this no how long do you think you can sustain that the chances are after doing that kind of like really hardcore extreme dieting you not you're not going to want to compete again because it's going to be horrible and so that's the main reason why I've been able to compete for, for this long without sort of any real issues and I feel really, really good. And so I'll be posting every single week with updates on how I'm feeling, how I'm looking, how I'm eating, if I'm stressed out. And yeah, so guys, just follow, follow this journey. You know, I'll be doing this for the next 20 weeks. So probably starting next week, Monday. So stay tuned and yeah, well, what's the matter actually? I thought I'd do an update right now. So I'm sitting at 80.7 kilos as of this morning. So I've lost a little bit of weight. Last week was a little bit stressful for me. You know, I had some family issues and stuff. But anyway, this is where we are. Um, training has been up and down, not particularly consistent. So next week, I really need to get on the ball. I need to get down to business to get the work done. And uh, yeah, I mean, so you can see this is how I'm looking. Let me just show you some of the poses. That's kind of how it's looking right now. Still a little bit soft, obviously. You know, I'm, I'm quite heavy uh, compared to my usual weight. Probably 77 kilo is my sort of base weight. So I'm probably looking to go down to as low as 73, 72. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Well, again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and until next week, peace out.